What's up, y'all? We're June and Lion, and this is A Sides, and we are doing the shuffle. Is that right? A side. No, A side. No, yeah. A sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, y'all? It's June and Lion. So let's do this. Uh, the cranberries linger. I've always like loved uh, the, the cranberries and just kind of her her vocal and this is like me and my wife's like one of our like our songs and I think she kind of somewhat sounds like my wife's music uh, which is kind of cool too. My song is Vindicated by a Dashboard Confessional from the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. Um, <laughs> I love it. Uh, so my sister when I was in middle school had a boyfriend. He was in a band and at our school talent show kind of thing. Um, his band performed this song and that was actually the first time I heard it. I just always think of that performance in that song as uh, one of the first ones that I really fell in love with and made me want to also kind of do the same thing. So shout out to uh, Spider-Man. His Message From Home by Hans Zimmer. It's just inspiring to hear music that isn't like typical. He fits it perfectly with uh, whether it's a movie or just um, kind of a mood. Next one that I got was uh, Patiently Waiting by uh, 50 Cent. This Get Rich or Die Trying uh, album was like one of the first records I ever bought like, at Walmart. Um, my dad would let me get the uh, unedited version. This is like one of those like bonding records for me and my brother growing up. Uh, my next one is Give Up the Grudge by Gob. Um, I think they're actually a Canadian punk band. Yeah, it's funny too because this was kind of one of those records that my mom was really hesitant to buy me just because the album's kind of, it's called Foot and Mouth Disease, so it's got like, it's, it's kind of gross. But I'm a huge hockey fan and uh, growing up I would play all the NHL games. I think this song was on NHL 2003. I actually wanted to be a hockey player more than a musician, but my parents said I'd lose teeth. I ended up losing teeth anyway, so I'm a banjo player now and it's, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, so our uh, high school, I guess, version of a Sadie Hawkins dancer, I don't know if you all call it that here, but like where the girls ask the guys to the dance and there's a musical going on at the same time where they had like people all choreographed and were doing like assisted backflips and spins and things like that. And my best friend was the lead in that. And so he was like kind of showing people how to do it. Um, he did it to me once and I almost landed it and then he did it to me again because I was like, oh, I can get it, we'll get it again. But uh, I was too close to someone else so when I did it, my foot caught another person's shoulder and I smacked my face on the floor of the dance, knocked my front three teeth out and my, my jazz director was like, ah, oh, you'll probably be a banjo player, you'll be a hillbilly and um, now I'm I'm a banjo player and it's hilarious. And my parents were always like, no, you can't be a hockey player. You'll lose your teeth. And I'm just like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. So people in Nashville ask you like hockey? I know you guys have a team. Well, so. yeah, and I, I'm from Colorado. Oh, okay. So I would grew up an avalanche fan. Um, <laughs> but the Preds now are. We like us Tennessee folk like love hockey now since we were good last year. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah.